With a game title like Golf With Your Friends, it's pretty obvious what you're about to play. In a time when a lot of people around the world are stuck at home in lockdown due to the coronavirus crisis, this sort of game could not have come at a more perfect time. I'm Roy McCoy, and today I'm going to be reviewing the newest online multiplayer game for the PS4, Golf With Your Friends. Before we get started, don't forget to throw me a like and also subscribe. In the last week, I've gained like 23 subscribers, which is amazing and probably says that I'm doing something right. So I promise to continue to do fair and honest reviews. That said, let's crack on with Golf With Your Friends. I have just come off the back from playing with a very good friend of mine and it was an amazing, fun and crazily stressful but beautifully stressful experience. If you think of a game a little bit like Rocket League, it's that kind of multiplayer online experience. It's not quite as good as Rocket League, there isn't as much variety or fun, but it's crazy golf, mini golf, whatever you call this sport. Is it a sport? We'll call it a sport. What you get in this experience is lots of fun. This is one of the most fun experiences I have had with my friends. Now, as I said, I did play with a friend, but sadly I can't show you the footage from that game because he doesn't want his gamer name all over my review. So I'm going to tell you all about the experience, but at the same time show you footage of me playing on my own. Golf with no friends. So basically there are 12 official courses ranging from a haunted house theme to a space theme, and there's even a worms theme to tie in with Team 17. Each course has 18 holes, like a standard golf course. And what I really liked about the courses is that they are varied. For example, you have a pirate one with a kind of, I don't know, kraken thing, and the haunted house ones have ghosts on there, and tables and chairs that move like poltergeists. So there's lots of fun things to see and do. As I said, this is primarily an online experience and you can play against up to 11 other friends. So if you're kind of getting tired right now of those annoying Zoom parties and you want to do something different, this could not have dropped at a better time. There are several different modes to play. So you can play the classic mode or you can play a party mode where there's power-ups and you can basically not only compete against your friend but kind of sabotage them with like honey traps or... Uh, you can do double jumps, so these power-ups are there. And then there's a, a basketball mode, which I didn't really enjoy. You have to jump through a hoop at the end. And there's also like a hockey theme one, where you have to go against a goalie into the goal at the end. And your, your ball is shaped like a puck. So there's lots of things to see and do. And of course, all of the modes are customizable. You can change the options, so you can put power-ups on. You can change the gravity. Uh, you can change the shape of the ball, but it's a bit... Mm. I preferred classic, I've got to be honest. As I've said before, you can play offline, probably to practice on your own, or you can also have a local co-op, which is something I really, really love. Now, the controls are pretty simple. Primarily, you aim with the right stick and you shoot. Shoot? Is that the right word? We'll go with that. You shoot with the left. These are the controls. They're pretty simple, they're pretty easy to master. There are a few other ones like X to jump if you've got the jump option on, or there's a spin option if you move the direction of the left stick when you take your shot. But the controls are really simplistic. Physics-wise, it's pretty accurate, but sometimes the ball did seem to fly off. Now, now I'll put that down to my own rubbishness at this game, but at times I did feel like, what? But it kind of added to the fun just to see my ball go off. Now, I must admit, this game is the kind of game you're going to rage quit on because it can be incredibly frustrating, but in a very good way. The last thing I've got to say about this game is a complaint. Oh, the music. It's the kind of music that gets into your head and kind of drills your sanity out. It's a repetitive looping song. I had to turn it off. Muting the TV was the best thing I could do. When I had my headphones in talking to my friend, I just turned the music off. It was dreadful. It was like a minute or two minutes or 90 seconds of the same music over and over again. And after 18 holes, you could almost sing it. It was terrible. And it was just really, really chipper and chirpy and just, oh, so irritating. That said, this game is hours of fun, especially if you do have lots of friends that you can't see at the moment during this lockdown. And I could quite happily imagine me getting a beer, 
and playing it with my friends on a Friday night instead of going down the pub and watching my friends get ridiculously frustrated as they miss shot after shot, watching the ball skip along water, going up travelators, going up vents. Oh, this game is really good fun. Annoying music, but good fun. So for me, this is an 8 out of 10. It's not as good as Rocket League, but it is good to pass the time and spend with your friends. So it's a solid experience, lots to see and do. So I would recommend this if you're looking for an online multiplayer to play with your friends or random people, or even a local co-op with your family. This is Roy McCoy, out.